my guys it is a fine spring morning I will consider it spring here in uh, Garfield Texas here in the collapse of global industrial civilization where we have stumbled into Wednesday morning March 11th 2020 and you have stumbled into collapse chronicles here on YouTube my name is Sam Mitchell this is my little co-pilot Sancho Panza we're doing what we do every day and that is chronicling the collapse of a planet and I have a lot on my plate today I'm in the middle of trying to sell my little uh, bivouac here in Texas cause I am a climate refugee trying to get out of here by the 1st of June. Uh, <clears throat> so today's Chronicle of the Collapse will be short and sweet. And I am very sorry that I do not remember the name of the alert <clears throat> listener who sent me this story uh, from phys.org, P-H-Y-S dot org not f-i-z-z -Z dot org and uh, I love it when we actually have the word collapse in a uh, in a headline so what do the physicists have to tell us today planet's largest ecosystems collapse faster than previously forecast. Another one of these faster and worse than previously thought. <coughs> okay. New research has shown that large ecosystems such as rainforest and coral reefs can collapse at a significantly faster rate than previously understood. The new findings suggest that ecosystems the size of the Amazon forest could collapse in only 49 years and the Caribbean coral reefs in just 15 years. <clears throat> it is well known that ecosystems can transform rapidly when put under stress. Clear lakes can be transformed into green waters Coral reefs can become bleached and sparsely populated as algae disappears and rainforest can shift to savanna grassland as deforestation causes a change in humidity. <clears throat> Scientists from the University of Southampton, the School of Oriental and African Studies, and the University of Bangor study data on the transformations of 40 natural environments on land and in water. <clears throat> These varied in size from small ponds to the Black Sea aquatic ecosystem. <clears throat> this data had been compiled from scientific publications, institutional reports, and online databases about regime shifts and thresholds. The team discovered that while larger ecosystems took longer to collapse due to their sheer size, the rate at which the transformation occurred was significantly faster than the pace of change for smaller ecosystems. The findings published in the scientific <clears throat> journal Nature Communications can be explained by the fact that larger ecosystems are made up of more compartments or subsystems of species and habitats. This modular setup provides resilience against stress initially. However, once a certain threshold has been passed, which is exactly 
what is taking place right now in the Amazon rainforest and probably in the Arctic. Uh, where else do we have thresholds taking place from the Amazon to the Arctic? Probably all over the oceans. Anyway, however, once a certain threshold has been passed, the same modularity causes the rate at which the ecosystem unravels to accelerate. This means that ecosystems that have existed for thousands of years on our planet could collapse in less than 50. John Deering, a professor in physical geography at the University of Southampton who led the research said, quote, the messages here are stark. We need to prepare for changes in our planet's ecosystems that are faster than we previously envisaged." Close quote. I love uh, the faster than previously, you know, that I uh, put in your word. I've never seen the faster than we previously envisaged. The unraveling effects that Professor Deering and his team have highlighted are probably illustrated by the rapid spread of bushfires recently seen in Australia and magnify concerns about the effects that the recent fires in the Amazon rainforest will have on its ability to withstand climate change. Professor Deering concluded, quote, These findings are yet another call for halting the current damage being imposed on our natural environments that push ecosystems to their limits." Close quote. And uh, so we have that story and while I'm not going to, uh, I'll probably get back to this a little bit on a uh, little bit on Friday from Manga Bay. So we have that story about how we need to halt uh, and next to that from good old Manga Bay from uh, Philip Fernside of Manga Bay we have this story coming out the same day as that story oil and gas project threatens Brazil's last great block of Amazon rainforest <clears throat> I'm just gonna read the takeaway the eastern part of Brazil's Amazon rainforest is already heavily deforested and degraded, but the western portion of the region, covering roughly 285,000 square miles, is almost entirely intact due to the lack of road access. The huge block of rainforest to the west of Highway 319 is essential to maintaining the Amazon's biodiversity, its indigenous peoples, its huge forest carbon stocks, and its role in water recycling that supplies rainfall to places like Sao Paulo. Planned roads branching off Highway 319 would open the northern part of this vast forest block to entry by deforesters. And now a new threat is rapidly advancing in the Amazon. The Solomos oil and gas project that would implant thousands of oil wells spread over the central and southern portions of this forest block. Uh, although not part of the official development's preliminary environmental impact statement, future roads linking all the drilling areas to Highway 319 are likely to give deforesters access to the entire area. <clears throat> And then, of course, uh, there's a similar story 
about the Great Barrier Reef going through a uh, a new bleaching event uh, as the Amazon rainforest, the Great Barrier Reef, uh, anywhere in the Arctic where there's permafrost. As tipping points tip and thresholds thresh. Uh, anyway, guys, the planet is under full collapse. I anybody who does not understand this needs to spend a little more time here on Collapse Chronicles. And if you enjoyed what uh, fizz.org had to tell you about the collapse of our last great ecosystems remaining on this planet, please spend a few seconds to thumb up this video. If you did not enjoy hearing about the collapse of this planet faster than previously forecast, spend a few seconds to thumb it down. But either way, while you're over here, please uh, subscribe to uh, Collapse Chronicles for more of this doom and gloom and keep an eye out. Who do I have? Coming up this Sunday, I just had an interview with uh, Karen Schrag, a very entertaining interview with uh, Karen Schrag. If you do not know Karen's work, uh, give yourself the treat and tune in on Sunday for that. And then. Tomorrow, I will be interviewing Lear Keith about uh, her and Derek Jensen's new book, Bright Green Lies, that is going to press right now. So, plenty more coming up on Collapse Chronicles. Stay tuned. And in the meantime, get out there and enjoy these little tweeting songbirds on this collapsing planet while you still can. Bye guys.